Uh, now I think broadcasters are going to try their demo again. Thank you for the second chance. Had we been thinking on our feet, I would have just taken someone else's computer since our demo is live. But <laughs> hindsight is twenty twenty. All right, so I'll make this quick for you guys. So what you're looking at right now is the dashboard. Uh, this I'll be bouncing back and forth between both two pages. Uh, this is the dashboard that you're looking at now. And if I go back to here, uh, this is the broadcast page that Kyle touched on briefly in the PowerPoint. Uh, if I scroll down, so I've been broadcasting this while I was sitting over there. Um, you can see some of the pictures I've been taking. I took a picture of every company that I pre presented. I took some pictures earlier, posted some text earlier. Can you do something right now? Yeah, sure. So I just, I can just, let me scroll it up so you'll see it come in. So I just took a picture while I was standing there. And uh, let me post it right now. I'm on my 3G, but it's pretty quick. And it should just come right in. It takes about, it takes a second. So what's at the top there? Why does it have crush down and kind of break out? Oh yeah, scroll What's that separate? Yeah, so if people are watching, it, they're to comment. That's actually yeah, I'll make a. I'm logged into my own one, so this isn't really how you would use it, but you can make a comment, and that posts right there. And then if I were in the dashboard, which is where I, you would be broadcasting from, um, you can see the comment came in right there. Yeah, so there's. So has a person viewing a broadcast, you'll only see the last couple comments that have been made. Yeah, there's a link right over here. And this shows all the comments that have been made. But it's pretty simple. Um, I guess one other thing that, that's, that, that's neat to show, that I should show. If I go back to the comments tab on the dashboard, I can take a comment that Kyle made, and then I can repost it. And then that will put it back into the stream. So if I scroll down now, Kyle's comment, everyone can see it. So it's a way to moderate the comments. But can you respond to comments? Like, can there be any sort of conversation going on? Or is yeah, so right now the, the only conversation would be I would repost that comment. Then I could go back to my dashboard. The only conversation would have to happen in the stream. Okay, so you can't connect. No, that's, 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 that's sort of, something that's, sort of next step that's something that we do plan on building, but right now it's it's all in the stream. Yeah, and then the back and forth is to show you what the people will be saying. If you were broadcasting yourself, you'd just be fully in the dashboard. This is what you're doing. <laughs> yeah, right now, right now there's only one person that's does that they can broadcast, and everyone else has to watch. That's also something we're thinking about how we can work work that in. And one way to do it is, you know, you could have someone commenting and just continue to post comments and so people work around it. Yeah. It's a feature. But we have put some thought into that. Uh, how much do you charge to white label technology? Well, right now it's completely free. We don't really have a white label service per se. You just sign up and you create an account. Anyone can use it. Somebody wants to, like, put this and brand it and they're on me. Someone wants to take this and they can't sure. do it right now and put it on their own website? Right. Yeah, right now we don't make any sort of widget, we're never going to make any sort of widget, and we don't have a service right now that you can completely customize. But that's something we plan yeah. on doing. So that was your monetization model, I think you said and earlier, right? Yes, but we're not trying right. to make okay. at the moment. Sure. All right, thank you, broadcaster. Yeah, thanks for giving us a second chance.